Hey guys, I had somebody come up with a very good posting on one of my videos and they were requesting or informing me why do we need diodes, blocking diodes on solar panels. So inside this box is a set of blocking diodes. Um, if you don't have a blocking diode and something gets on your panels, what will happen is the panel that doesn't have something on it, if they're wired together before they get to the controller, before they get to controller, this one will actually overheat the one that's covered with stuff. So this video is going to be called the goose shit effect. So let me show you something. This is exactly for record what we're dealing with. Now, if you don't see solar panels are clean, might have a little bit of bird crap on them, not enough to block more than 5% of that cell, not a problem. Um, but over here, you have the goose shit effect. Now, as a result of the goose shit flyby, and we get it on the roof all the time up here, um, different locations like that, and down in here, goose shit splatters, they'll come up here and this shiny blue panel, they'll dive towards it and then go out. I don't know how the eyes work on a goose. But the effect of this without a blocking diode means that this panel, and let's see here, I've got one, two, three, four panels that are wired and they go to a controller. And then over here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six that are wired and they go to a higher volume controller. In fact, they go to a controller you see that is a um, Solar Eagle that's down in the shop. And this panel, without a blocking diode, would be taking the load of one, two, three, since it would be less voltage, these panels are gonna be pushing against these bus wires, adding to increased amperage against that panel. That's how, in a previous video, I'll show you the link to it right quick, That's how that 45 watt panel burned out. It got excessively dirty and got a lot of bird shit on it. And what happened is the other panels pushed against its diodes. So instead of the panel being damaged, it was the diode that failed. So in this effect here, you will see that when a bird, very large 10 pound flying mammal of some kind flies over and shits on your panel, as you can see, I've lost one, two, three, four cells. So the voltage on that panel is gonna be about 18, 17, 18 volts. These will be putting out 22. They're gonna push against this one back up its wiring, but those diodes are gonna prevent that panel from getting overheated and burning itself. This is part of my array up here, part of my array here, and of course, these 130 watt Pimar panels. Now these panels here, they kick ass. So if you want to know about them, look for the link at the bottom there from Hurricane Wind Power. And this is the first generation PIMARS, um, solar synthesis, first generation. And believe it or not, it's six years now, seven years, almost seven years. They're still kicking ass, not too bad. So, all right, I just want to give you all an update on what we're dealing with here as far as the goose shit effect um, or crows, or if you got a lot of pigeons, that's a problem with these panels. And if y'all like the way I designed this mount, this right here is just rafter straps. That's all it is, rafter straps. And see how they went into this box metal. And this has been up here for almost five years. No rust, it's 25 year outdoor capabilities. And then using hat metal, this is the hat metal that was used for giving additional support and these panels or thick enough to where I put a screw in here, one in here, and then put some sealant underneath it and shot the screw. And it's very sturdy. And I do get, if you look at some of my older videos, which you should, I do get 100 mile per hour winds here. And these panels have handled this. No lift up, no damage, no issues whatsoever. So you might like that design. It's simple to use. These are quite strong. And you see how I put them in? Just like that. And I put a little bit of, uh, 
weld glue on some of them that might have been chancy as far as the screw backing out so vibration from the wind didn't cause them to back out but damn good mount up pretty professional for a guy that drives a truck hauling cattle watch out for the goose shit effect i gotta clean these it's a once every month wash down and it's due and that's pretty dried hard shit so all right guys my experience diodes are there for a reason don't remove them Nice.